guys, so I'm here today. I'm super excited to share with you my foundation collection. I have them all in this box except one and I'm really sad to not include this one because this is literally my ultimate favorite but because it's my ultimate favorite it is at my house. So I will put a picture of it up here obviously and tell you guys why I am obsessed with that and then also tell you about my other foundations, give little mini reviews so excited for that. So please subscribe and like down below and let's get started. So you guys know me, I'm really good with liking high-end and drugstore products. So I have a lot of high-end and drugstore foundations. I have my ultimate favorite foundation wearing it today. I love it, but it's a little expensive. It's the Dior Forever Foundation. I don't have it with me like I said in the beginning because it's at my home, my apartment, and I film at my mom's house. So don't have that, but I'm obsessed with that. I'm getting about three-fourths done with it, and that's pretty good to say because I usually love this other foundation that I've been using but this has taken the spot. It is a little expensive but I highly think it is worth it. It has really good skincare ingredients in it as well as it covers really well. The finish of it on my face is like no other and I think that is the best foundation I've ever tried. When I tried it I have reviewed it. I'll have that linked down below and linked up here and it was the best foundation. I was so surprised and I'm usually not that surprised about foundations so me liking that is a really big indicator that is a good foundation. Just a little expensive. Expensive, but I definitely will use it up and get my money's worth of it. My next foundation is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Like I said, I've been trying to use up my foundations and not buy more. I don't know if I said that, but I said that now. And I am halfway through this. I don't know about this foundation. It oxidizes a little bit, but I definitely want to try to get through it. So definitely I'm going to try to wear this for some videos and stuff so I have a chance to use it up. But I have a problem of just using the foundation that I love the most for when I go out and do stuff. So then I know my makeup's going to look good and I'm not going to look like I don't know how to do my makeup at all or match skin tones with my foundation. So this will hopefully be gone soon. But yeah, I do like this foundation overall. I like the packaging of this, but just is not my favorite, favorite foundation. It is, okay, rate it like a five. This is my foundation that I've loved for a long time. I have a review of this one as well. I'm pretty sure I have a review of the Fenty one too. So any reviews that I have of these foundations, I'll have them linked down below. So I did full day wear tests, so make sure you go check those videos out after you watch this one because they're good videos and you can see what it looks like on my face. So here's the Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline. You guys see, I've used a good chunk of this. It's like one-fourth left. And that's good to say, like I said, because then I usually never get through a full foundation. And my goal is to try to get done with this by the end of the year. So yeah, I do like this one. I have this one in 128 Warm Nude. And I do really like this foundation. It's really good full coverage. And it's a drugstore product. So you know it's going to be pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks, but you always can get coupons and stuff at drugstores. So definitely would recommend this one for a drugstore foundation. This is probably my favorite drugstore foundation. And the Dior one is my favorite high-end one. And then these other ones just kind of fall below it. Next one is the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I'm sad. This is so dark. I'm not for sure what I ever thought about how I was this dark. I'm not for sure. Oh my god, it looks like this is good for six months. I've definitely had this over six months. But yeah, I do really like this foundation. It's just a tad bit dark. And I'm definitely not going to get any darker since now it is almost fall. So... I do like this foundation. It is a little dark for me, so I definitely would wear it more if it was my shade. But yeah, I do like this foundation and highly would recommend that one if you want more of a lighter coverage. My next one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I do, however, like this one, but it's not my favorite. I did get a good chunk of this used, and I definitely am willing to try it again. It's starting to look like it's getting a little clumpy. So I've had it for a good while, I would say, but yeah, I do like this one. And if you want a good full coverage foundation from the drugstore that is not the Superstay, I would suggest Milani. It's a good foundation. I would say this has more darker shades, which is nice. So really, really like the Milani one. My next one is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. You guys know how I feel about this. This is a little too much for me right now because I'm not as oily as I used to be, I feel like. But I do like this foundation. It is a little drying in some spots, so definitely make sure you don't have any dry spots because it will definitely show with this foundation. It's full, full coverage, and I do like it. It matches me pretty well, 
So we'll see if I try to use this up. We will see. Not for sure. But I do like this foundation. It's just would not recommend it for anyone with combination or dry skin. You'd have to have very oily skin for this foundation to work on you. My next one is the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. I heard this was a dupe for the naked skin. I'm not for sure. I thought it was fine. This is definitely more my shade. So definitely need to try this out again. I only used it a few times. Ulta Beauty actually does have some pretty good products. So I definitely will need to try more of their products. But I do like this. I don't know how I would recommend it. But it's fine. If you've seen it or see it on sale and are interested I definitely would recommend worth a shot because I kept it in my collection enough that I like it so yes definitely would at least say give that one a try and I definitely want to try it more that is pretty good and that's all I have to say about it my next one is the Mary Kay CC creams I have so many shades I don't really know why but I also have used this dark ones for tanning so it looks like I did like a self tanner but it lasts for a day so I really like that and since I already bought them I was like might as well use them and I honestly have gone to the very deep one to put on my legs and stuff and I do like it and it's nice that you can just wash it off and you honestly don't get like streaky and stuff from that so I do like that that's one thing I don't like about self tanners is you can get streaky after so I'm just not into that and it's a lot of upkeep and I just like this that you can use it for like a day or a night and then wash it off Going along with Mary Kay, I have the Matte Work Liquid Foundation. I have tried this too, and I really do like this. And I'm definitely willing to keep using this. I do like this. Would recommend it. And yeah, do like this. Wish I had a pump though. I love pumps. My next one is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I'm pretty sure I have a review over this one as well. Not for sure if I deleted that one and didn't post that. But I do like this. I like the huge wand in here. So that's cool. Yeah, definitely willing to try this again. It's a little dark, so I might as well use it now before I get even lighter throughout the winter. So yeah, do like this one. Not much to say about this. Definitely worth a try since it is so affordable if you do want to try it. My next one is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This has been an old time one. This is like probably the first foundation I've ever gotten. Not for sure if it's even still good. It's a little too pinky tone for me, so I'm not for sure what I want to do with this. But it was really good for what I wanted back then. Honestly, from all the new products I've tried, I would recommend this one. But if you like it or using it, I definitely would keep doing that. I do like the wand, like I said, and it is a good foundation. I just don't think it fits my needs of what I want now. And then I have three of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. This is probably my first foundation I've ever almost really got to the end. I have this one, 368 Golden Beige. And I really do like this foundation. I'm not for sure why I bought so many backups of it. I did get two different shades, but I bought a backup of the golden beige for some reason. And I don't really use it that much anymore. But these are really nice if you are on a budget. These are like five bucks. And I do really like this. I think it actually gave me pretty good coverage as well. It does smell really off and weird and like paint thinner. But it is nice and it gives me full coverage. The scent does not last long in it. So I highly would recommend this if you are willing to... Go through that pain through the scent. I'm fine with it because it does go away. But yeah, I would definitely recommend these if you're on a budget or if you just want to try it. It's not expensive at all, so it's worth a shot to see if you like it. And then if you do, it's even better because it's super affordable. Oh, also, one that I forgot is the Hourglass Foundation. I also do have that in my apartment as well. I have that, the stick foundation, and I do really like that. It is a little drying, so I do like to mix it with my liquid foundations. It is a little bougie for a foundation, but I would recommend it. I do like it. It's very nice to take on trips because it's very, very portable. So that is another one that I forgot to tell you. So glad that I got that in here before I forgot. Lastly, I have the Fit Me in 220 by... Maybelline. I do not know why it's blanking there. It's the matte one and I do like this. I definitely need to use it more once it gets a little cooler and stuff. I probably should have been using it throughout the summer but I have not. This is good. It is light coverage though and I kind of like more full coverage if you know what I'm saying. So I do like this. It's nice to mix in with my foundations if it's not my color and I do like this. The Fit Me one is very affordable compared to the Superstay. It's just a little more expensive but I highly recommend the Superstay if you want full coverage but if you don't I would recommend this one because it is a little lighter of uh, a coverage so just whatever your needs are so that is all my foundations I'm super excited to kind of declutter some of them we'll see maybe give some to friends and I'm really sad the main 
And I'm really sad the main one that I love is not even here right now, but it's fine. It is here in my heart, and I'm glad to share it with you guys. And I'm hopefully you can get through that too sometime because I just feel so satisfied when I finish a product. I probably will try to keep that one so I can use over when I go to Italy, but I will try to get through this one, guys. This is my goal, putting it online so everyone will see it and nag me about it if I don't make it. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to get through this one and maybe the Fenty one before I leave. So I hope you guys liked watching this. I had a lot of fun going through all my foundations and seeing many reviews about them. Like I said, any videos that I have pertaining to my foundation reviews will be linked down below. I also am thinking about doing like concealers, eyeshadow palettes, and stuff like that. Definitely am going to do those in the future. So I hope you guys liked watching this, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.